Oh yeah, you look so much better on that bike without all your shit on. Your... That's why people squid. This is way more fun. Because they, they look cooler? You look cooler and you feel cooler. What's up, Reno? Wasn't yeah. expecting to be here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Oh, let me just not know how to function this bike that all suddenly weighs nothing. <laughs> look at look at you all squidding. I feel like I'm a bad person. I know. This right? is the time that we get plowed by. A oh way. God! Don't you. Say it. <laughs> but yeah, let's go see if we can get your bike <laughs> Un check checked. I mean, I mean, we kind of unfucked ourselves. No, no, it's just a sleeping, it's dormant a calamity waiting to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> it is... Oh, it's right here. Okay. Sierra BMW. I'm going to loop back around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da-dum. Let's go in front. <laughs> that, is, that epitomizes our trip right now. I didn't either. So what are we doing right now? We are waiting for uh, a coolant flush and a battery box cannibalism job because they have to, I don't think they've got any parts for 650s Yeah, they here. gotta pull a battery cable off another herb. Yeah, 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 we're just gonna take one out and eh, patch it over. The guy we roll up and we're like, oh hey, can we do a thing? He's like, oh, yeah, we're kind of busy, wasn't expecting you, but sure. And then six dudes from <laughs> Brazil roll up on 1200. They're going from Brazil to the northern part of Alaska over like 80 days oh, and, then and then coming back down to Miami. And one of their dudes laid their bike down yesterday on the highway. Well, they got bigger problems than we got. Yeah, we're chilling here in uh, the Reno BMW, Sierra Reno BMW dealership. I'll find, we'll find one, relax. <laughs> That was on the list, douchey BMW t-shirt. Yeah, so, yeah. We're gonna be here for a few hours and then we will hopefully be continuing on to Austin, Nevada. Austin, to the, Nevada. To the Bob Scott campground, which is where we were trying to get to yesterday and that didn't happen. Mm. I think we found T-Squared's new bike. When Eventually. I, when I finally murder and bury the 650, this is next. We'll Jesus. find a way to do it. We'll probably have to sell a liver. Yeah. Part of my liver. The Don not donate, good. donate a lung. <laughs> Wait good, for good luck on your Felisa. trip. That sounds amazing. All right. Oh, I was in neutral. Ha! Ah! <laughs> That was amazing. That was so great. That was I'm amazing. I'm so glad we ran into those guys. It is a right turn. Sierra B and W out here in Reno, and all of our friends we met along the way on the Alaska adventure. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah, those guys are going all the way to the north side of Alaska. Prudhoe Bay, Alaska. Unbelievable. And then riding all the way back down to friggin' Miami. That's insane. Yeah. And then taking a boat back to Brazil, and then riding back to Brazil. Yep. And you got your whip fixed? I got my whip fixed! Yeah, we gotta get to the hotel ASAP. Yeah, we gotta get going. Sorry, what else did they do? They fixed that bolt that wasn't in your airbox. They, they replaced the bolt that was going through the frame in the airbox. It was a frame bolt. Oh my god, missing. okay. Um, did, did up the battery terminals and all that sh And, um, yeah, well, that was it. He had to jerk it the, a little flush bit. Flush the radiator. Oh, and flush the radiator. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, hi. Holy Balls. Jesus Christ. Down. Oh, it runs perfectly. It's perfect. Oh, good. We're going to finish this fucking trip. God oh, yeah, we are. God damn it.
Fucking A, it is toasty out here. Yeah, it is. My little feet is hot. Oh, rolling back. Backing up? What the hell are you doing? Not smart. Uh, well, he's in the shoulder, so whatever, but... Yeah, I know. I was, I was just thinking about how cool bike culture is. Because it's so... I mean, like this morning, we were at a shop, you just run into six people from a different country, and an hour and a half later, you're getting pictures taken together and following each other on the internet, joking and laughing. It's like... And trying to overcome a language barrier, you know, different. You know, these men are from, from Brazil and they speak Portuguese. And yeah. Un poquito espanol and we speak not a word of any of it. Especially so. Portuguese. But yeah, that was that was amazing. And I do think that they are absolutely fascinated by the fact that you were doing this trip. Oh yeah, for sure. Like the one dude who showed us this kid, like he was awesome. He was, he was like, women in Brazil don't ride. They don't know how. They're bad drivers. Yeah. Like, that's all they know is that women are bad drivers and they're scared to ride motorcycles. You, you could tell they really enjoyed kind of just what they were doing. I mean, they were having fun. You could yeah. tell. They were all, they were just a bunch of good chaps. Yeah. We were trying to get stamps for the uh, Highway 50 thing. Awesome. So we don't have the actual survival guide. We just didn't make it into town early enough. But what we're going to do is have everyone do it kind of sort of in order along the route. Would that be... Here, can you help me with this? Our gloves are kind of frustrating. So anywhere in the state here, I don't know, I don't give it here. Yeah. Let Does it matter? Does That's it matter? I don't mind. Thank you. Okay. Bam. Alright. Alright. Alright, first stamp down. Yep. That's four, pretty cool. Four to go. Four to go. 118 miles. Alright. Says 630. Man, they are kidding about a lonely highway, jeez. Yeah, I mean, it's gorgeous, though. I, it, yeah, the desert is always just kind of weirdly beautiful. Look at the sand dunes over here, holy crap, okay. It's like oh. it's spilling over that saddle. Yeah. See that? Yeah. But yeah, we had to turn it, we keep thinking we're going to turn our cameras off because it's really boring out here, but it's not. <laughs> no, we keep seeing more stuff. Man, I'm trying to meter my speed, help me out if I start getting too far away. You won't. I'll, I'll keep up with you. Not like I'm going to lose sight of you. Oh, true. I'm going to bust some twisties. We're like 27 miles outside of Austin, Nevada. And this is the first major curve in the road we've had in the last uh, 89 miles. Yeah. <laughs> 90 miles. So yeah. It's rather interesting. They call this the loneliest road in America, and I believe them. It looks like Afghanistan. Man, we are going to be in the middle of nowhere. There is going to be so many stars. I'm I excited. oh, I can't wait. Oh my God! There's oh a yeah. Press trail. Yep, yep, yep. Insane, right? Well, it goes off that way. Racing. It. Yeah. Racing and horses across here to deliver the mail. Right? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. They just decided to like nestle up in here. Yeah. Wow. It's probably a little bit cooler than being on the valley floor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Gas here? Sure. Or do you want to keep going? Go, go <laughs> for it. Alright. On the other side. But don't. Where are you going? Sorry. We got earplugs in, so. What's that? Where are you headed? Uh, I've been riding the Pony Express route. Oh, Have nice. You? Out on the dirt? Dirt, not dirt, rock. <laughs> yeah, Peter yeah, all by your damn self. Look at you. You say you're from Golden? Yeah, Golden. Oh, you're from Golden? Yeah. Oh, well, sh we're Colorado Springs, Fort Collins. Well, we yeah. gotta hit the road, Jack. Oh, yeah, that doesn't sound real good. I thought that was the ATV. <laughs> Bye, bud. And he lives in Golden. How do you, how the f*** do you figure? Like, right? How do you figure? <laughs> Damn. He's following the Pony Express route. By himself. Oh yeah, I can see that shadow on camera. Yep, travel, watch out. We can pull our bikes all the way down there. Okay, just pull them all the way down next to the table. Yeah, follow me. Alright.
to ask the sand people out here when we get there. It looks like they'd be happy out here. Yeah, right? <laughs> Hi guys. How's it doing?